Hi folks, thanks for joining me again for another watercolour demo. Um, today we've got a simple winter scene, very limited palette on this one. I haven't used many colours, I think there's only three, three or four possibly. I'll, I'll show the colours in a minute anyway. Um, so we've got our path winding its way up through this little simple little village there, to our little uh, figures there, off into the distance. So the palette, now the only colours, I've used the Ultramarine, uh, the Raw Sienna, Burnt Umber and Light Red. So just the four colours, um, most of it done with a big eight brush and then just the two little rigger brushes as well, that's all I've used brush wise. And let me just quickly show you my latest book, this is volume three, Watercolour made, Painting Made Simple. Loads of step-by-step -step photographs taking through, taking you through each painting. There's nine paintings in total, so that should keep you occupied for some time. That's available on Amazon. I'm just going to start, as I always do, just a little bit of water, just to stop the paper getting all crinkly. Then I'm going to go a bit of light red, a little bit of oh, sienna. Reload the brush, just a touch of water on there. Sienna. I'm just going to work this all the way down to the bottom. Just being careful to leave that central this area, which will act as a nice little light source. Going to introduce a little bit of ultramarine into it as well, just to darken it up a little bit. More on that side as well. Bit of red, bit of blue, touch of water. Keep everything loose. And I'm just keeping an eye on little bits of water dripping down the page. I'm just soaking them up as I go along. And also it gets a nice little bit of texture in there as well at the same time. Just watching out for the little pools of water that gather at the bottom of the paper. So that's sort of background. So that's just finish off getting that little bit of water. And then I'm going to do some distance, a few distant trees. So I'm just going to mix all the same colours together. And then along the horizon line, which is about a third of the way up, I'm just going to do a few. little trees and things, might even scrape. If I can find my little card, just scraping a few little buildings just in the, just in the distance there, one there, one down there, one just in front of that. Do those together. And then this little, little bit of horizontal scraping. I don't want too much detail, but just, just give the hint of that there's something going on back there. I'll do just a little bit of detail. Right then, a bit more detail on the on the right hand side. So I'm just going to go red, a bit of burnt umber, a bit of ultramarine in there as well. This time I'm going a bit bigger. This is coming up there. Because right, I've got a big house now, so I want something to scrape into. Before I do, actually, just, again, just keeping an eye on that little bits of water that might be dripping down, just making sure that I don't go any further. But I don't want big, great, big, wide blobs everywhere, so, so that'll put the bottom. 
Right, let's just make this flat first. I'm just going to pull it tight. The paper stretched a little bit. So I'm just going to get it flat against the uh, bit of plywood I've got here, leaning against my easel. I'm good to go again. So this time I'm going to use a bigger piece of card. I'm going to get something like, let's make that a bit bigger. Uh, it's a bit rubbish that one, isn't it? little fence posts and things. Obviously this is a little bit closer now so there's a bit more detail but the detail they're only it's just like random scrapings with the with the card. Um, let's have a big one there look. Pop that on the side and again just scrape that in front. That's you know what I'm after a lot of it's got something about Telegraph poles. I'm gonna stick one in there, I think. And another one there. Another one a bit further back. And just a few little telegraph wires. Let's stick another building just there. That's a bit rubbish. Just cut that off there like that. I'm just going to stick another one there. This one's a little bit smaller. No, I'm going to do the side. Again, these could be fence posts or anything. And also, if you take the little rigger brush and just use it like a like a little pencil or something, just just go in there. Just random details, even there. Even put a few little, few little uh, windows and things in. Just pop that in there. Can't, these aren't really showing up very well, to be honest with you. I'm going to worry about them too much. Again, just a few little lines and things. I'm having a big tree as well. So into the same colours, brown, red and blue. I'm going to stick a big tree somewhere. I should have done this first actually because this is going to now look as if it's oh hang on, I don't want to do it too big to lose the scar of the thing. Just loads of little branches at the ends. And if you sort of press down a little bit more, you get the impression of like little leaves and things. And then as the paint has left the brush you can you can just go wild then and just give the impression of just little bits of foliage, just last, last few leaves about to fall off. Oh, let's see what I've got on the brush here. Again, a few more little dibs and dabs. Bit brown, bit of red, bit of blue. Right, so next I'm just gonna see what I've got on there. So I bring this this sort of pathway now. I just wanna just give some indications of where this path actually lie so it's sort of coming something like that I'm 
I won't even do a few little dark ones and just scrape. Scrape a few little stones and pebbles and things into it. Just need to narrow that up a bit more at the top. like a little path leading off into the distance. Little rocks and things here on the ground. Switch to the little, just the little rigger brush. And then right up there, okay, just make sure it's dry. Make sure got plenty of paint on the brush. I really need a new brush, this brush is rubbish. So anyway, I've got the first one in there, I'm just going to stick another little figure next to him. Let's stick another one just to the left. Pop the legs in. I did like a little, just some sort of shadow effect. Got a little bird. One, two, three little birds up there. I'm going to call that one. Do nothing. Just a nice, simple little winter scene. I'm just going to stick the name down there. Right in. Let's stick a, a mount on that. See what it looks like. So here's our finished painting. So it's, if we go and have a closer look. So the sky was a mixture of ultramarine for these darkest areas, and then you had light red, raw sienna. And then just kept this light area down the middle where the sort of light reflects off the path as well from the foreground right into the middle ground. I put in the distant trees, you can just about make that's what the, the darker bit is, but they gave me something then to scrape these rooftops into. So you've got a little cluster of houses there in the distance. And then same principle again, put the trees in, in the background, lots of blue and light red bit of burnt umbra I think in there and then use the car just to scrape out these rooftops give the impression of houses also see the little telegraph pole as well with the wires going across and then all these little details all these little scrapings fence posts and things in the ground could be anything really whatever your imagination wants them to be and then this part I mean it could almost be a river either or whatever you, whatever you want it to be really sort of bordered either side with a few rocks and things 
scraped out again, just simply done with the card. And then the path leads us up to our little little figures there walking into the village. A little bit of a shadow behind them as well. And then I forgot to mention the tree. It might look better, just slightly darker possibly. Just put that in with the rigger brush and then loads of flicks and things to suggest all the foliage. So that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Um, remember, got all the books on Amazon, this as well as all my other paintings are on eBay. You've got Patreon for more videos. All the links you'll see in the description on the About Change in my panel. About page on, me, uh, on the main channel page. So thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. And I'll see you again soon.